So we're here with former Hawkeye All-American Chuck Long, who's going to be doing the BTN broadcast today for the Iowa State game. Chuck, talk about the excitement of coming back to Iowa City and being in Kinnick Stadium for your first game as a, a TV analyst. Well, it's great to be back. This is such a great atmosphere. I love coming back here and uh, to get a chance to commentate you know, for the game. It'll be an interesting uh, experience for me, but I, I, I'm fired up to talk good about the Hawkeyes, and, and of course I have to keep a little balance with the Cyclones, And but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great experience here. Hey, the, everybody's tailgating outside. It's a beautiful day here. It, it's a great experience for everybody to be a part of here. And then looking at film this week, what have you seen from both teams, and what are the keys to today's game? Well, I think the keys are for Iowa is to protect uh, James Vandenberg. I know that's something they, they're trying to address this week. You know, Iowa State's played 12 defensive linemen or rotated 12 defensive linemen in the game last week, so that's they're going to keep them fresh. So it's a big challenge up front for the Iowa Hawkeyes to, to protect James. And then I think it's good, another key to the game is the Iowa State passing game against a good Iowa secondary. I like. I want to see that match up there, and, and I think that'll be, uh, you know, a determining factor in this game. It's all going to get down to turnovers. It always does in a game like this. Whoever has the least amount of turnovers is going to have a chance to win the game. Okay, and lastly, how special is it for you to be back in Iowa City and to be in Kinnick Stadium when you know Coach Fry is going to be here? I love it. I'm glad he's here. Uh, I heard he was here yesterday, and I get a chance to see him. And and we're on the we're on the same floor in the booth, so that that's a good thing. But you know, Hayden's built this program obviously from from 1981 on, and and Kirk has picked up the the baton and, and has moved forward with his 14-year career here. And it's just like I said, you, you know, if, if Kirk lasts 20 years, you'll have two coaches two coaches in 40 years of Iowa football, and that's that's outstanding. All right, thanks. Have a good call today. Thank you.